To paraphrase my boy Crocodile Dundee, that's not a crossover. This is a crossover. This is the 2020 Subaru Outback. like Outback's past, it's basically a more rugged Subaru Legacy. Except whereas the Legacy is a sedan, the Outback is more of a wagon. In fact, you might call it a crossover. It's the original crossover in many people's eyes because it took a wagon, jacked it up, added rugged body cladding, and it was a great success. Now we've got Volvo in it, Audi in it. This here takes the same formula as it did before. It's got 8.7 inches of ground clearance, so it matches its go-anywhere rugged styling with actual go anywhere ability, standard all wheel drive, and it can now tow up to 3,500 pounds when equipped with the optional 2.4 liter turbocharged flat four engine. Yes, for the first time in more than a decade, Subaru is bringing forced induction back to the Outback. This 260 horsepower engine complements a standard 182 horsepower 2.5 liter flat four. Unfortunately, they didn't bring back the manual transmission. Both engines connect exclusively to a CVT that has an eight speed manual mode. While performance junkies are going to still want to check out the WRX or BRZ, tech junkies are going to love this thing. Let's go inside. As you can see, Subaru equips the 2020 Outback with an available 11.6 inch touchscreen infotainment system. It's the same one available on the Legacy and it looks great. It's quick to respond to touch inputs and it just really shows that Subaru's really coming up on their infotainment game. Along with this, their standard EyeSight across the board. EyeSight is, of course, their suite of active safety features. And EyeSight now welcomes a standard lane centering system. It only makes sense to end this video out back of the Outback. And like the Outback that came before it, it's conceptually the same. It's a great wagon, a great crossover, or just a great rugged looking thing. Whatever you want from it, it's pretty much got it. It goes on sale in the fall, and Subaru hasn't released pricing yet, but we expect it to start right around where the current car is, which is $26,345.